Has the game finally passed Ron Rivera by? I mean, you know, after yesterday's game, certainly a lot of us Washington Commanders fans are somber, we're mad, we're just we're just upset because this team should have by year 3 improved enough to where we are very competitive especially with with the teams within our division. We know that the Philadelphia Eagles were going to be a team that was going to be very strong within the division, but you would figure that this team would at least be competitive, and this team was not competitive yesterday. So maybe this video is a, still a little bit of frustration from yesterday's game, but I think it's about time that we kind of start to sit back and see, you know, is Ron Rivera on the hot seat? You know, is, is are we starting to see a Ron Rivera himself getting so frustrated with the fact that what he's doing isn't exactly working or isn't is working as fast as what he thinks it should be? You know, he's he's put together what he feels like is a pretty good team in Washington. I mean, if you look at the ta talent levels in Washington, we got really good players and skill positions at least. I mean, look at the wide receivers. You have Curtis Samuel. You got Terry McLaurin. <laughs> you got our first round pick with Jahan Dotson, who has been everything as advertised. <clears throat> and then you look on the defensive side of the ball, and you've got that strong defensive line. You got Montez Sweat. You got Chase Young. You got Deron Payne. You got Jonathan Allen, and then you know you you drafted uh, Fedorian uh, Mathis, who unfortunately got hurt, but uh, plans to be a pretty exciting player within the next few years. And you know you've you've got some some guys on both sides of the ball that. You got enough talent that this team should be very competitive. Now, here's the thing, though. If you look at yesterday's game, certainly, you look at the offensive line. And the offensive line needs help. You know, the coaches have been able to mask a lot of weaknesses along the offensive line for the last couple of years. You know, are we finally starting to see why... It is that was such a big thing to get rid of Brandon Sheriff. You know, Pro Bowl player, we got rid of him. Maybe, maybe it isn't just plug and play, right? And then are we starting to see that truly, you know, not having Trent Williams, who was an all world player, I mean, we had guys like that on our offensive line, both of those guys at one point, right? Our offensive line was really solid at one point. And now our offensive line is in a mess. And again, does that come back on Ron Rivera? Does it also come back on Ron Rivera when we're, we are looking at this or he's approaching the matter from a coach-centric point of view which is fine, but I think when it comes to a point to where maybe it isn't the players. Maybe, all right, you know, I've been down on the players as well, but, you know, maybe at some point it is the coaches. Yesterday's offensive play calling by Scott Turner was abysmal. When us fans on social media can see that what you're doing is not working when you have your quarterback having seven step dropbacks and the Philadelphia Eagles are just feasting on him and sacking him almost every single time he's dropping back and if not pressuring him then it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize well you've got to change it up throw in 
some plays where he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. You know, timing patterns. You know, one, two, three, ball, that ball is out. If you look at guys like, you know, um, Aaron Rodgers, even Tom Brady at times, they have plays like that. When they know that the defense is going to feed on them, they change things up. Sometimes it's the quarterback that's going to change things up. They're going to see that, okay, they're going to be getting a lot of pressure today, so they're going to have to get the ball out of their hands quicker. And so those plays are going to be called. But it seems like no matter what, Scott Turner's going to call his plays. doesn't matter. He's not paying attention to those little details that could make all the difference in the world. You know, why wait until halftime to make those adjustments? you got to make those adjustments on the fly in the NFL or you're going to be out of the NFL. And, again, that falls back on Ron Rivera because he's got to be able to recognize that. And as the head coach, he's got to be able to go to his coordinators and say, this is not working. You need to make better adjustments. And this is on both sides of the ball. You know, yesterday, the defense matched up better with the Eagles. The defense played pretty well for the most part. Um, I mean, they played really well, I felt. But they're not going to hold up when the offense is not helping them out. And it seems like we can't ever get a complete game in which both sides of the ball are clicking. What does that go back to? Does it go back to the players are not executing? Well, I don't. I didn't see that yesterday. I didn't see where players were necessarily making mistakes. Oh, well, yeah, you had... Um, he had one player who, on defense, who made a couple of mistakes because, well, he was new, and there were a couple of pass interference calls on him, and he was struggling a little bit. You know, that's going to happen. Um, but for the most part, the players were executing. It's just the fact that they were either getting beat you know, offensive line was getting shoved around or there was just no time to execute. And I don't think this time you you blame that on the players. So I think Ron Rivera is on the hot seat. The, hot, the seat has to be getting warm at this point. You're year three. You're year three. And if this team does not make the playoffs, this team can't win more than seven games then you have to look at ownership and be like, nothing's improved. You can look at culture, but culture is not going to be that great when the team is losing. I don't care how good of a, a guy you are, and Ron Rivera is a great guy. He does a lot for the community. He's a fantastic person. I mean, I love Ron Rivera to death. And, he, and he's very knowledgeable of football. He He's you know, he played for for that great Chicago Bears defense. I mean, he's a solid he's a solid football guy. But if it's not working, it may not be working, right? Year three. He's gotta turn things around quickly. You can't you can't wait. And I don't think this can be one of those years where you're about dead and then somehow you pull off this RG3 or Kirk Cousins turnaround and you win several games and somehow you're able to back into the playoffs or win the division. You're not winning the division this year the way the Eagles are at least starting off. So unless things change dramatically, I mean, yeah, we've only, we're only three games into the season. I understand that. But there has to be a sense of urgency and if there's not a sense of urgency, then that tells you there's something wrong with this coaching staff. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Do you agree with me? Disagree? Let me know. Please, if you like this video, like it. Comment. Let me know your thoughts. Share this video. 
with others you think that would enjoy this video and please subscribe to the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I try to put out videos on a regular basis and if you really enjoy this channel a whole lot, you really like supporting me, Greg Sykes, uh, then you can support me out of the ways by doing this. Can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me